Earlier we talked about how you can bring in dynamic multimedia content into your mobile app by connecting the mobile suite with your YouTube channel. But if you don't have a YouTube channel, or if you're collaborating or working with artists who have their own channels, and you would like to be able to pull those videos into your mobile app, you can do that. And we do that in the control panel by going to videos and selecting new video. The new video screen asks you to copy and paste the embed code for the video that you would like to add. You can use embed codes from either YouTube or from Vimeo.com. So we're going to start by taking a look at YouTube and determining where we find the embed code and how we can bring that here into the mobile suite. So our Performing Arts Center is going to be bringing in Bernadette Peters fairly soon and we would like to be able to share one of her videos with our audience so they have an idea of the type of music she um, sings and also what they might expect from uh, one of her concerts. We've identified a video on YouTube that we would like to share so we come down here to share and we select Embed. And you can see that it provides us with a string of code and that string of codes already highlighted. So we're going to copy and come back to the mobile suite and paste the code into this box before selecting next. Now, the information that we see here in step two is all being pulled directly from YouTube. So the title, the author, duration, all of these things are automatically being brought in and imported from YouTube. So what we need to focus on is down below. What type of video is this? Is it a performance? Is it an excerpt? Is it another type of video, instructional or a master class or perhaps a promotional video? Once you've determined what type of video you have, you select Next. And in Step 3, you have the ability to add tags for the content. So for example, uh, we are a presenter and we are already identified and tagged associated with this video because we've uploaded it into the system. But we would like to be able to tag Bernadette Peters. So let's go to Artist and we can type in her name. And you can see as you begin to type, the system starts to provide matches. And you can select one of those. Or you see if you've been working with a particular artist or tag, it'll show up in the recent column below and you simply tag it and go to submit video. To return to the mobile area we go up here to the control panel we can either go to mobile or we can just go to directly to videos. And we can see that the video has indeed been brought over. So that's how to work with an individual video from YouTube. What if I want to bring in a video from Vimeo.com? Again, we're going to go to Add Video. And we're... So we're going to go to Vimeo.com. And another artist that we're bringing in is Anushka Shankar, who is a world music artist. And since we're concerned that some of the people in our area may not be familiar with her work, we wanted to include this interview with Anushka and include that in the mobile app so that they have the ability to learn more about her and the style of music that she performs. So in Vimeo, to do that we're going to go to Share and the third option down is embed so we're going to highlight the embed code 
we're going to copy it, come back to the mobile suite and paste the code here. Then we're going to select next. Now, all of that um, data that came from YouTube doesn't necessarily automatically come from Vimeo. So we're going to have to fill out the video information. So we're going to enter in a title. And then for the author, it's usually a good idea to go to your source. So here you would go and it's by Salon Studio. So we're going to come back and we're going to put Salon Studio. And again, we're going back to pull information. So it's eight minutes, eight seconds. Ah, that was the hours. Zero hours, eight minutes, eight seconds. And then we need a description. You can either go for a description that's been entered into Vimeo, or if there is not a description, then you simply type in one that is appropriate. You'll notice that there is not a particular uh, image that has been imported from Vimeo. So you'll need to create an image and you'll need to save that to an image storage area like Photo Bucket or Flickr or some other place. And you can pull in the URL for the image here. This is optional. You don't have to do that. Um, neither do you have to put in the date it was recorded or published. And then here we can indicate if this is a performance, if it's another type, you can indicate what it is. And we're going to click next. And again, we have to tag so we can come in and begin putting in her name. And then once we finish tagging the video, we're going to go to submit video. And again, we return to the videos area and we see that this video is being brought in. Now you can see here it has a generic video image associated with it. Again, we can go in and add an image to associate with the video. But if we want to see how this is going to look on the mobile suite, we can go back up to mobile and go to preview. And we can go to videos. And you can see here how that generic icon is being brought in. So I probably would go back and add in a new image to associate with this video. You only have to do this for videos that are coming from Vimeo.com. If you're bringing in a video from YouTube, as you can see below, it will automatically import an image for that video.